jeans and a t-shirt. That sounds pretty darn boring, doesn't it? Well, today I am showing you several ways to take them from boring to fabulous. Hey friends, it's Angela. So good to see you again today. And if it's your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, well, you have come to the right place today, my friends. We're gonna put the fun factor back in jeans and a t-shirt type of outfit. I'm gonna show you several ways to kind of jazz them up a bit just by adding one, two, three pieces. And you're gonna see how it's gonna elevate that boring, basic look into totally fabulous. The first type of jean we're gonna start out with is a pair of skinny jeans. I know you've heard from different influencers or different places that skinny jeans are out. Not in this household. My skinny jeans aren't going anywhere because they look so much better to me with certain shoes than let's say your boot cut or your straight leg jeans do. And honestly, I've been doing a lot of shopping lately just like I normally do. And every store I go into still has skinny jeans. So apparently, these stores aren't thinking skinny jeans are out either. They're still selling them. With these skinny jeans, I am gonna add a graphic t-shirt that I picked up from Kohl's last fall. Graphic tees are a great way to just add a little bit of something else going on besides a plain colored t-shirt. That said, these two things together look a little boring, don't they? Let's see how we can jazz this up a bit and add a few things to it to turn it into completely fabulous. The first thing we're gonna add to these two basics is an oatmeal colored cardigan. It just adds a little layering piece for when it starts getting cooler out there, and it's a complementary color to the lettering that's in this shirt. It really goes well with the burnt orange color in the shirt as well. Next, we're gonna add my little taupe colored booties that kind of jazzes it up a little bit more than maybe just wearing a pair of tennis shoes. And the last thing that we're gonna add is this scarf. This is really gonna help to finish off the whole look. I picked up this scarf last fall at Kohl's. I love the coloring in it. It really just all works together. So you went from your two basics, your jeans and your t-shirt, you added three pieces, and it made it look so much better. For the next outfit, we're gonna work with another graphic tee. This one I've had for a long time as well. I love the print on here. I'm just gonna add it to the skinny jeans, and here you go. You've got a good basic outfit. But now let's jazz this up by adding three more pieces. The first thing we're gonna do is add a belt. Having a black belt in your wardrobe is a really good staple to have. It reminds me of a Chanel inspired belt. Then the next thing we're gonna add are these booties. I just recently got them from Walmart. They're, they are by Brinley & Co. You can only get them online at Walmart. Very comfortable, love the zipper detail. They're very easy to get on and off. They've got this pebbled black leather on them. Very cute. So now we've elevated the look once again by adding the booties instead of a pair of tennis shoes. Now the last thing that we're gonna add is this really cool looking cardigan. It is a long duster cardigan again, but it's got these gold grommets going up and down the side of the cardigan. Love that. It is a thicker cardigan that's got the ribbing in it. It does have pockets and put with the belt and the booties and your basic jeans and a t-shirt, this makes another great outfit for fall. For this next outfit, we're starting out with a pair of boot cut jeans with a plain white t-shirt. Now the jeans are a recent purchase. I just got them from Amazon. I am loving them. I like the heavier stitching on the pocket. I just think it adds a little bit something unique. Because they are a junior brand, I would recommend going up three sizes from what you would normally wear. So I'm normally a size six. I went up to a size nine in these and they fit perfectly. So as you can see, the white shirt with the jeans, it's all right. You know, it's pretty basic, it's pretty plain. So now let's start jazzing this up with first we're gonna add a belt. Now this belt is something I've had in my closet since the 80s. But the thing is, I've seen the same hoop belt at Walmart and at Target. And in fact, they still have it there. 
The next thing we're adding are these new espadrille wedges that I found at Walmart. I just love the chain detail on these, the coloring. They do have them in black as well, but I really like this bone color. I feel like it's gonna go with a lot of different things for fall. These were by Madden New York and they were $24. Can you believe that? These are really cute and as you can see, it really helps to elevate this look. Now, the last thing we're gonna add to this outfit is a blazer. Now, blazers are a whole new territory for me. I've never worn a blazer in my life. This is a new purchase too. And let me tell you something. These little gems are the things that you find when you reach outside your comfort zone. Whether it's color, whether it's trying on things that you never thought you would have wore before. This is an example for me, and I am loving this look. It just makes your, your jean outfit even more classy, doesn't it? So just by adding the belt, the shoes, and the blazer, it really transformed this outfit into a perfect one for fall. Oh my gosh, I am loving this outfit too. All I did is switch out the t-shirt for a plain black t-shirt, now with the same boot cut jeans. Well, the first thing that I'm gonna add to this outfit to jazz it up a little bit is a leopard print belt. Like I've said in a previous video, probably not gonna wear a lot of leopard print or animal print this fall, but I really feel it looks classy in just a little pop of something here and there. And, I added these earrings. They have just a little bit of leopard print as well with the black and the gold. And it just goes with the t-shirt, the belt, and the jeans. The next thing we're gonna add is this really pretty necklace that I got from Nordstrom. I got it in the Nordstrom anniversary sale, so I saved some money on it. It's by Open Edit is the brand. And I wanna say it might be $40 now. It was 25 in the anniversary sale, but I feel like this really just adds a classy look to the neckline. Then we're gonna add the black booties again that dresses the outfit up even more. And then we're gonna throw on this blazer again. I mean, this outfit to me, I am loving this. I can't wait for it to be a little bit cooler outside so I can wear this whole outfit together. This might be one of my favorites so far. For this next outfit, we're moving on to a pair of straight leg jeans and just a plain taupe t-shirt. Again, together, very basic, but we're gonna be adding some pieces to it to jazz it up. Now these straight leg jeans are actually a really nice pair. I bought them from Walmart last year, they're by Time and True, and if you look for these for yourself, stay with your normal size in these. So the first thing we're gonna add to this outfit is this taupe colored belt. I like the little gold buckle on there, and it's got kind of a herringbone design in the pattern of it. So this just elevates it just a little bit. And then the next thing we're gonna add are these peep toe booties that I've had for a while now. They came from Walmart. They're just a great color to have in your basic wardrobe. Next, we're adding this mauve colored cardigan. I got this from Zulily earlier this year. It's a great little cardigan because it's on the thin side, so it'll give you a little bit of layering, but not too warm. It's three quarter sleeves and it's got all these button details down the front. And then lastly, we're gonna add a scarf. I really like this light colored plaid scarf. It's got the mauve coloring in it, so it really ties together the taupe t-shirt with the mauve cardigan. Now, honestly, in my opinion, I could take or leave the scarf. I think this outfit looks cute without it, and I think it looks cute with it. So it's kind of your preference. So for this outfit, we added four pieces that really helped to elevate it to fabulous. All right, my friends, for this next outfit, we're going pretty darn simple here. I kept the straight leg jeans on and I just added a graphic tee. So the two together, pretty plain, right? You could get away with wearing that, no big deal, especially on a really casual day. So the first thing we're gonna add are these white little tennis shoes that I bought on Amazon not too long ago. They are a really comfortable, flat, maybe a little elevated type of a sneaker. They kind of remind me of a Ked or a Chuck. And they're really just a simple shoe that will go with a lot. Now I know it's fall, but we're adding this pink jean jacket to this outfit whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> we still got some time before the lighter colors need to be maybe put away. Maybe they'll never be put away really for me. I love to add, you know, lighter colors, maybe mixing it with the darker colors. So I don't know, but I pulled it out to go with this outfit today. 
and it's just so cute. I have told you guys about it so many different times and nowadays it's like spotting a unicorn. If you see this jacket still left somewhere in the store, especially if it's on sale, get it. It's normally $20, it's from Walmart, it was by Time and True, and I know in the fall time, they start to put them on sale. I found pink jean jackets last fall, it's $5. So make sure if you see it, you grab one for yourself. So pretty simple, just adding the shoes and the jean jacket and a little pair of cool looking earrings, good to go. Next, we're moving on to a pair of flare jeans. Now these are my favorites as of now. They are by Sofia Vergara. I got them from Walmart and you won't believe this. I got them for $5 last summer. Who gets a pair of jeans for $5, right? They're a great wash. They're perfect for fall. I like the buttons up the front. And for me, I'm 5'4", they're a good length. They don't drag on the ground, but I do know that she carries her jeans in petite sizes as well. So if I can find a link for these still, check the link to see if they have the petite. Now again, I just paired the jeans with a plain tannish colored long sleeve t-shirt. In my basics video, I talked about how important it was to have your long sleeve basics, your short sleeve, and some tank tops for this season because those tank tops are gonna look good in all, under all kinds of cardigans and jackets, and they're very on trend for this fall. So the first thing I'm gonna add is a black belt. The same one that I've had on earlier with the gold hoop in the front. Kind of breaks up the jean and the tan color going on, and that little gold adds a little pop. Then I'm gonna add my necklace that I got from Nordstrom again. And this might surprise you. I'm now gonna add a pair of taupe colored booties. You're like, Angela, what are you doing with taupe colored booties with a black belt? Aren't they supposed to match? You're gonna see how you don't have to be matchy matchy and it can still look really good. And the last thing I'm gonna add to this outfit to just send it over the top is this waterfall flannel cardigan. I just got this from Amazon. They had it in a ton of different flannel colors. This is a really unique layering piece. It does have pockets, doesn't have any closure at all. So it just kind of lays open like that, which I really think is a cute look. So again, by adding four pieces, we took this boring jean and t-shirt outfit and elevated it to fabulous. Now that you have a great idea on how to style jeans and a t-shirt to just really elevate the look, Watch this video next right here. I talk about all the basics that you should have in your closet for fall to really elevate your looks. Until I see you next time, my friends, stay beautiful on the inside and out.